Leadership Week 2019 is about stories, stories of great commitment and leadership from our people that sometimes go untold. Today, I'm traveling to Raleigh, North Carolina to highlight a leadership story that came to my attention. It's a story about Marion McPherson, a labor foreman who impacted not only our client, the St. David School, but also the parents and the kids at St. David's. I'll be interviewing two school administrators and two fathers of students. I think you will see just how important Marion was to the St. David's community in our project. This is our Leadership Week 2019 at Brassfield and Glory. This is a week where we celebrate the leadership of our employees. Every employee is a leader. And we've got this great story today to tell about Marion who worked here at St. David's School, impacted not only your staff, but also your community of kids and parents. Well, Marion um, always has a joyful expression. He's always happy and very, um, very joyful when he meets you. And so a significant impact, um, just his demeanor and the way he greets everyone, made everyone feel at home. And always just with a servant's heart, um, very much a servant leader on our campus. And our entire community felt that where um, it is a little bit nerve wracking for families to come and see a big construction site where their kids are going to be attending school. And he was just a friendly face to welcome them and to help encourage them and make them feel um, like they were part of this family and everyone embraced that. And he always had such a smile on his face, always anything I asked, yep, we'll take right care of it right then and he did. Snowing or raining, he would always and he would smile and you know, I'd get this. <laughs> And of course, my kids just loved it. I mean, they always said, Daddy, you better roll your window down and get the fist bump or the high fives, right? And that always, that just always struck me. It was such a gentleman thing to do, and it was such a personal thing to do. Like, man, you love to be here. This is, and he was like, dude, I'm here to work. I'm here to make sure the kids are safe. Yeah. And that meant a lot. So, Mary, can you come on in just yes. for a second? Yes. Come, come join us. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, so good to see you. <laughs> yes. Hey, Marion, come on over here and give these guys a hug. <laughs> Definitely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Marion, I want to thank you for your leadership on this job because you represented Brassville and Gory to not only this school, but to the community and to the families around here. You gave them a sense of who we are as a company by your leadership, by your smile, by your warmth, and by your care for these students. Thank you. Thank Definitely. you. Mm -hmm. he Thank you so Definitely. much. Thank you. <laughs> Agree 100%. Yes. It's, it's a lot of respect. They give it to me, I give it to them. Stories like Marion's remind us that everyone at Brassville and Glory is a leader. When we take pride in our work and commit ourselves to the people around us, great leadership naturally follows. Thank you, Marion, for being a great leader.